Okay, so we're at number four of the top five reasons that Big Paint does not want you to know about Rhino Shield. And Mike, what we're gonna talk about here is the eight key ways that Rhino Shield protects your home. You know, we mentioned earlier that uh, as, as the company that stands behind a 25 year transferable warranty, when you put a coating on a home, mother nature goes to work, right? And she's undefeated over time. So let's talk about the eight ways that Rhino Shield protects your home when it's installed. Sure, we've already talked about better ingredients, uh, better formulation, and applying things as a system. Sure. Uh, but honestly, one of the reasons it works is we just put it on thicker. You know, eventually over time, building materials do wear. So thickness is our friend. Um, we have a, uh, our product typically is going to be about eight times thicker than a traditional coat of paint. So eight times thicker than a traditional coat of paint. So the thickness itself is a, is a benefit, right? A protective it is, benefit. It is absolutely a benefit. It allows us to get more of the good ingredients on the wall. Um, it allows us to bridge cracks and it's just going to last longer. If you put our product on real thin, you won't get the full benefit or lifespan. Now, I see you've got a, a sample here, uh, delightfully shaped like a rhinoceros. Absolutely. Uh, for Rhino Shield. But you can see just how much thicker it is. Sure, and yeah. this is just a little thicker than we put it on because it needs to be a standalone product, but you can see the flexibility, the tensile strength, um, and that thickness is, is germane to us offering a warranty and, and feeling confident about how our product's gonna perform. So Mike, two other protective qualities of Rhino Shield that we've talked a little bit about is the 6.89, the 6.89 R value equivalent that we add to the outside of your home. Also with a very high, over 107 solar reflectivity index, uh, which protects your home. But I wanna talk now about the 98 mile an hour federal wind driven rain code. And Rhino Shield exceeds the 98 mile an hour federal wind driven rain code. Tell me about that test. How do they test that? Well, it's, it's real important to us in Florida. So yeah. uh, we, we've always been in Florida. Tropical storms are a reality. They're very destructive. So there is a test where they inject they shoot water at 98 miles an hour into a building product, in our case, a coating film, for 24 straight hours over a gallon a minute just to see if they can penetrate. And we pass that test. So 98 miles an hour, jet of water into our coating system for 24 hours? More than a gallon per minute, they try to inject it to get it to go penetrate or break through the coating. And our, our, our test was perfect. Yeah, so it's a pass-fail test, right? If any any moisture gets past that coating, it's a failure, and Rhino Shield obviously passed it. And now there's a second thing they test for in, in this you were sharing with me earlier. Salt tolerance. So anybody that lives on the coast know that you know, just salt air, um, salt fog, salt mist is just damaging to almost all building materials. And salt is a very corrosive thing, and we, you, we, we have it certainly here in Florida, but it's all along coastal regions. Right, so we're specifically, we engineer our product to resist salt, uh, there are tests where they put pro building materials and building products into salt fog chambers where they accelerate how much damage the salt's going to do, and we pass uh, with a perfect 10 out of 10. In other words, salt will not break down or affect Rhino Shield. So, Mike, the last two things on the list of eight protective qualities of Rhino Shield is we use a three part cocktail from the Dow Chemical Company for mold, mildew, and fungus. For Anybody that lives in, if you live in the Southeast, you know uh, about fungus and mold and mildew on the outside of your home. Tell me about that. Well, in the Southeast here, a lot of homes are filthy. Uh, a lot of times it's, they say it's mold, but usually it's algae or it's fungus and, or, or mildew. And it, it's hard to keep that off a of home. So that's been, been one of our focuses. So we use, um, you know, EPA approved uh, cocktails. Most paints have a basic melticide. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's just an in-can preservative, or it just could be a simple melticide. We use a, a three-part cocktail um, plus zinc oxide, and that combination, uh, we believe, will, will keep it free from bio growth better than any paint on the market. Outstanding. And lastly, Mike, um, permeability. Explain what, uh, what that means to a homeowner and when it comes to coating system permeability. Well, coatings need to breathe, and right. that means that vapors can release from the home, and that's just the way that modern pots and pans, and showers, and steam, things like that. Yep. Absolutely. Or just you have the condensation where it's hot outside and there's air conditioning inside, yep. and you have that condensation that meets in the walls. So uh, decades ago, to have a thick water repellent coating, it would not have been able to have been permeable. Those two worked against each other. But the magic of modern polymer chemistry allows us to make a coating that can completely keep wind driven rain out but yet allows water vapors and other type of vapors to escape. So houses gotta breathe, coatings have to breathe. How do we test that? Uh, there's ASTM tests for sure. permeance. And typically 
Uh, you want something that's, that's above 10 US burns for a coating and our, our values are well above that. Uh, some, so, some of our, our bases are as high as 16 or 17. So anything, any coating system that scores a 10 or higher is considered fully permeable, correct? Yes. And Rhino Shield coating systems score 13.16 to 16 or higher, depending on how they're installed. Right. 